With the wide open range of decks that are out, guys, I wanted to talk about a card that may or may not rise to actually be played, as well as a card I think should be played absolutely right now. Let's get into it. What's going on, guys? Pegasus and the Wise Guys. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Make sure you sub. Make sure you hit the bell. Guys, I wanted to talk about Skill Drain. Now, obviously, you probably are all tired of this damn card. You've seen it pop up in all kind of deck lists, usually the Eldest deck list or the Eldest variety, to be exact. But I wanted to talk about it in a different vein as a tech in a few different decks. So let's get into it. As you guys already know, Regulus, Therion King Regulus, to be exact, has recently come out inside of Daifo, and what we've learned is that this card is extraordinarily powerful, but what you may not have noticed is that it tributes for cost, therefore a card like Skill Drain, it works in phenomenal tandem with. But there's another layer to it. The layer is not only the Regulus tributes for cost, guys, but Additionally, if you're playing a variety such as, let's say, ABC, which also has a boss monster that tributes for cost, it may be something for you to consider to play a card like Skill Drain because, well, simply, your opponent won't be able to activate effects if they're not playing a very similar deck. And you just flat out lock them out of being able to activate monster effects while still being able to activate yours and still get over in the exact way that you need to. Now, what I've really noticed is that a lot of the times when I talk about text, it just doesn't hit quite the same unless I show you in action. This is between myself and a friend. I'm playing Branded Infernoids. Let me know if you want to see the deck list for that. I've been goofing around with it, trying some stuff out. He's playing Machina, but he was playing Skill Drain as well as mixed into Therion. So Therion Machina is a deck that I really, really like. The infinite track stuff all mixed in with it. Just a big, giant machine deck with Therion Regulus heading off and quarterbacking the entire operation as you can see in this combo it's usually the typical shenanigans of looping through all the machina stuff going through the gearbox but this is the additional new stuff that i've been seeing with phantom fortress being able to change levels with the smaller guy infinite track harvester you essentially get to banish a card out of your opponent's hand then be able to additionally lock out your opponent from activating one of their first cards with the negation of regulus and also set really really powerful cards like let's say the skill drain that i mentioned to begin with as well as additionally loop through some cards add additional cards to your hand by shuffling some back and getting your recursion going the same way that the infinite track deck already does however this time getting to set up stuff like urgent schedule to be able to push through in case you didn't need to use it in your last turn as well as having a skill drain with a Regulus in front of it to be able to negate it and your opponent starting off with less cards, well, an infinite track in ABC, it just may be a specific tech that you might want to try. So the second card I wanted to talk about, I wanted to more specifically focus in on the infinite track deck because I simply think that this is absolutely a ridiculous interaction that all of your decks should play if you're planning on playing infinite track. So let's talk about it. When I was testing the other day, I actually ended up um, going back and forth, uh, playing my friend's deck list. He was playing it. We were testing against each other. He was testing on ranked. I was testing on ranked. We were going back and forth like that. And what I ended up noticing is that Bullet Train is a card that is 100% needed inside of the Infinite Track deck for the simple fact that if Regulus can actually target this card or just in general Bullet Train being mixed into some of these machine decks is targeted and then pulled back onto the field when it actually ends up triggering its effect in the graveyard it can kick regulus right back to your hand now that's something that might not be worth the little bit of a brick that it is but inside of a deck like infinite track it slips right in perfectly let me know what you think about it down in the comments because i simply do not see this in that many deck lists and don't understand why i appreciate you guys for tuning in pegasus out arrivederci